Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Julian Valdo Cubello and this is K-Check. Hindi lang ito tagisan ng talino para sa ating mga contestants. Ito ay para rin sa inyong lahat na gustong laging dinadagdagan ang inyong mga kaalaman. Every K-Check is an opportunity for us to teach and learn. Samahin niyo kami until the final week of competition when we find out kung sino ang tatanghalin kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Our first contestant is Rob, a BS Interior Design student from Quezon City. He used to compete in several research competitions. He loves arts and design, photography, and dancing. Our second contestant is Versil, a freshman BS Physics student who loves to go to the gym. Our third contestant is Gwen, a second-year theater student at UP Diliman and has been devoted to the arts ever since she was a child. Our fourth contestant is Bon, a civil servant who has been working with the government for seven years. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Neil Santillan, chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History, Professor Glessie Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman, and Professor Ricky Nellias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! <music> Rob, what is the last letter of the Greek alphabet? Z. Mate, omega. Versil, what is the largest animal in the world? Blue whale. K, check. Gwen, what is one half of 86? 44. Mate, 43. Vaughn, what kind of animal is Winnie the Pooh? Bear. K, check. Rob, what is one third of 606? 301. Malet, 202. Versil, what country that is one third below sea level is famous for windmills and tulips? Netherlands. K, check. When? What animal has young called colts and fillies? Correct answer is horse. Vaughn, what is one fourth of 84? Correct answer is 21. Rob, what kind of reptile has a shell having a carapace? Snail. Malay. Turtle. Versil, what is one third of 69? 33. Malay, 23. Gwen, what is the local name of the food stall palm whose leaf is a national leaf of the Philippines? Correct answer is Anahau. Last question. Vaughn, in music, what large horn is the lowest pitch brass instrument in an orchestra? Bass. Malik. Okay. And that's it for the first round, our K-Check Paramihan round. Daming math dun sa round na yun, no? Kinabahan ka ba doon? Best in math ako nung high school. Nung high school. Uh -oh. <laughs> May qualifier. Correct. Oh, nakikita ko yung face ni Prof Neil. Parang nagkukwenta talaga siya sa mga decimal oh, places. That's a challenge. Mga uh, ganun. Oh. Can't help but. Siyempre, as a chairperson of the yeah. Department of History, you have to be knowledgeable I'm in math. competitive. Oo. Oh, oh. Tama ba yun ang assessment namin? Natawa ako doon. Kumuha lang ako ng math one. Ah. General uh, math? In-depth knowledge. But there for math. Way ba? early 1990s. Pero yung mga tanong sa math kanina, nakayanan ko. Pero tingin ko na tarantal ang mga contestants. Iba pag contestant kasi isang quiz show. Ayun. Medyo nararamdaman pa nga natin yung pag, may, may ano pa no, may may konting ano pa ng buto, no? Kaba. Kulang pa, kulang mm. pa. Kaba. Oh. First round. Yes. So, iinit ang competition mamaya. Oh, kailangan merong gamit na buzzer. 
para mas exciting yung quiz show. Tama. <laughs> Mamaya, maya. May katanungan ka ba sa mga kapatid? Yeah, may tanong ko para kay Von. Si Von ay matagal na or seven years ka na nagtatrabaho sa isang uh, government agency, di ba? O, pwede ka bang magkwento ano yung ginagawa mo bilang isang civil servant? Very recently po, I was an executive assistant of an undersecretary sa DICT. So, yun. Last, hanggang last August po siya. So, ngayon, medyo tambay po ako ngayon. So, naghahanap po ako ng work. So, baka may opening po kayo dyan. <laughs> so, EA. Yung EA, napaka-importante yung trabaho yan. Lalong-lalo na, I think, naging EA ka para sa... Cabinet Secretary. Undersecretary. Uh, Undersecretary sa isang news. No, napaka-importante yung trabaho ang pagiging EA. At kung interesado ka mag-apply, merong UPHRTO. <laughs> may mga, <laughs> di ba, may mga notices ng vacancies. Pwede kang maghanap ng trabaho. Kailangan namin ng mga efficient na mga EA sa UP. Oh. Kailangan natin ng ganyang klase ng servisyo, <laughs> Prof. Neil. At ask and you shall receive. Correct. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, ako magtatanong pa ako. <laughs> Ayan, na ano ako, na-intriga ako sa Devotee of the Arts. Ay, uh, kay Gwen. No? Hmm. Paano kaya, ano ang typical na pag-explain natin sa taong nagtatanong? Anong ginagawa ng mga taong devoted to the arts? Kasi para hindi siya typical na na occupation or enthusiasm. Yeah. So, um, kaya ako po nasabi na I'm devoted to the arts. Kasi ever since I was in my second grade, in elementary, uh, namulat na po ako sa sining, sa pag-arte, at simula po nun, doon na po lumago yung pagmamahal ko sa arte at literatura. Hanggang mag na po ako. Ayan. Pero power, no, yung ma- maklaim mo yun oh, oh. as a oh, label. Oh. Correct. Oh. Anong klaseng arts ito nung bata ka pa yung pinupuntahan mo? Um, nung grade 2 po ako, sumasali po ako sa contest ng storytelling. Kasi um, nakita po nung teacher ko na may... Um, ibubuga ka. Uh, may ibubuga uh, po ako pagdating sa storytelling. Kaya po, simula po nun, ayun nga po, namulat na po ako sa pag-arte mm-hmm. dahil kailangan po ng facial expressions, gestures, ayun po. At ngayon, ready na ba kayo lahat sa our, sa ating pabilisan round? Next here on K-Check! pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Sige, mag-points recap muna tayo. Ang nangunguna ay si Versel with 20 points. Susunod naman ay si Vaughn with 10 points at hahabol definitely si Gwyn at si Rob. Maganda yung laban na mangyayari sa mga susunod na exen. Definitely may habol at may hahabol pa sa atin dito. Okay? So we're now going to key check pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin! This is your first question. One of the billion-dollar earning blockbuster movies of 2019 was a live-action adaptation of a 1992 Disney animated film. What is the title of it? One. The Lion King. Mali. Question. What is the title of this movie that featured Will Smith as the genie? Win. Aladdin. Okay, check. Second question. If hydrosphere is the water at the surface of the Earth, what do you call the solid outer part of Rob? Geosphere. Mali. What do you call the solid... Lithosphere. Okay, check. I'll finish the question. What is what do you call the solid outer part of the Earth that includes mostly the crust? Question three. Two of the latest hit songs of this male singer are Bad Habits and Shivers. Vaughn. And Sharon. Okay, check. Question four. Which 16th century German religious leader founded the 
Lutheran Church and is recorded by Martin Luther. Hey, check. Okay, I just finished the question. The Lutheran Church and is regarded as a founder of Protestant Innocent. Question 5. Hindi na konti. Which stone carved about 2,400 years ago was key to deciphering the Egyptians' script? Point. The Sphinx. Okay. Rosetta Stone. Okay, check. Stone. Question 6. This is a problem-solving question in mathematics. When I was 2 years old, my brother was half my age. Now, I am 50 years old. Versal? 48. Uh, 30. Let me finish the question. How old is my brother now? Okay, hindi umabot. Okay, hindi umabot. No? Tama ba? Am I right? Hindi umabot. Okay, okay. Uh, the answer is 49. So, sayang yung 48 na yun. Okay, let's move to question 7. The largest omnivore in the world is also the biggest fish in all of our oceans. What is the sea creature? Versal. Whale shark. Okay, check. Okay, what is the sea creature that can reach 20 meters in length? Question 8. What is the capital of the Chinese province of Hubei where the novel coronavirus was discovered in Brazil? Wuhan. Wuhan. Okay, check. Uh, this novel coronavirus was discovered in 2019. Question 9. In mythology, what is the name of the bold man who carried passengers Brazil? Karan or Charan. Okay, check. Who carried passengers across the river Styx and is also the name of the largest moon. Alright, question 10. This American singer first hit number one with the song I'll Never Smile Again. Who was this music icon known as Chairman of the Board and Old Blue Eyes? Oh, I'm gonna hurt. See Frank Sinatra. Okay? <laughs> We're down to the second, to the last question. What is the name of the military installation in Kentucky, also known as the United States Bullion Depository, that stores more than 140 billion ounces of gold? Okay, the answer is Fort Knox. This is the last question for round two. Which cell structure did Francis Crick and James Watson claim was in the shape of a double helix? Drop. DNA. K-check. Okay, and that's the end of our K-check Pabilisan round. Points recap po na tayo. Nauna ngayon si Versil na may 110 points. Sumusunod si Vaughn with 30 points. Rob has 10 points. Kasama si Gwen na may 10 points din, no? nakahabol kumbaga si Versil from the first round no at pwedeng pwede pa namang umaragwa kumbaga si Bon well, si Rob at saka si Gwen so kayo umaragwa correct oh, bakit nila oh. talaga humabol umaragwa oh, oh iba laging may fighting spirit daw eh merong momentum at may inertia oh. tama ba ako? speaking of <laughs> fighting spirit prof Ricky alam ko may fighting spirit ka di ba mukha <laughs> <laughs> ikaw pa ba May mga katanungan ka ba sa ating mga contestant? Tanong tayo sa ating physicist, future physicist. Bakit physics? At anong specialty sa physics kaya ang magugustuhan? Uh, <clears throat> Nag-physics po ako kasi yun po yung parang passion ko since I was elementary po. So masaya po yung math and science po combined po. So, uh, sa, uh, what was the second question po agad? Yung specialty ng physics na magugustuhan? Uh, specialty ko po. Specialty ng physics po, aeronautics po and ano, uh, or... Basta po yung about rocketry po, astrodynamics. Okay. okay. Passion niya simula bata pa, no? Oh, I wish masabi ko yun bata. Ako may passion ako sa physics. Meron din. Uh -oh. Pero nawala somewhere along the way. Correct. Kinain ng mga raffles. Yes. And, yeah. Prof. Bless, naging passion mo ba ang physics kahit kung bata ka ba? Pag-usapan na lang natin yung tungkol sa passion ng isa nating contestant na si Rob. Rob, nako, nasa interior design ka pala. 
ano ba ang challenge ng mga small, small spaces, lalo na pag nandito ka sa urban centers? Paano ba yung considerations pag nagde-design sa ngayon, lalo na puro plastic ang mga bagay-bagay? Ayun po, um, bilang isang interior design student po, ina-acknowledge ko din po and nare-recognize ko din po na challenge po talaga yung pagkakaroon po ng small space po. Halimbawa, uh, lalo na po dito sa mga sa mga lugar po na urban. And minsan po yung small spaces parang nagiging cost pa siya na hindi nagiging efficient yung pag-work. Lalo na ngayong pandemic na ano po, marami pong mga tao yung nag-work from home. Ganun. And siguro po, ano, isa po sa mga parang dapat gawin is yung ano po, tamang pag-space, pagpaplano po sa space, like yung pag-choose po ng tamang mga furniture and mga interior accessories po na dapat ilagay po sa loob ng bahay. Kasi mas magiging effective po yung pagtatrabaho, efficient po yung pagtatrabaho, if ganun po yung mga yan. Very good. Speaking of challenge, you know, this time our contestants mas marami po silang challenge sa kakaharapin when they face the toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back! Points recap muna tayo. Ang nangunguna sa ngayon ay si Versil with 110 points. Ang sumusunod ay si Bon with 30 points. At hahabol, no? Huwag magpakampante si Versil at si Bon. Pwedeng humabol si Rob at si Gwen with 10 points each. Mm, go, go, go na to. Kumbaga, no? Ito na yun. Oh, wala na ibang round kundi yes. ito, no? So, we'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin. Question number one, Prof. Neil. This refers to legislative acts that authorize the disbursement of public money from treasury to fund government programs. On. General Appropriations Act. Mali. Sayang sagot ni Von. Yung sagot nandun sa gitna nung no? binanggit mo ng mga salita. Okay. So, ang tamang sagot ay appropriation. Okay. Ganun talaga. Administrador ni Tony Prof. Neil. Na? Prof. Lessie. <laughs> My question. The bamboo organ of Las Piñas accompanied choirs and masses and played other forms of religious music. Who invented the bamboo organ of Las Piñas? Ang tamang sagot ay Diego de Cerna. Thank you. Prof. Ricky. Uh, science naman tayo. What is the term for a narrow body of water that connects two larger bodies of water? Rob. Fever. Mali. Let me continue. Bodies of water and it may be formed by a fracture in an isthmus. Familiar tayo sa Strait of Magellan, Mal Malacca, Hormuz, and Gibraltar. Strait. The correct answer is straight. Thank you, Prof. Ricky. Prof. Neil. Give three of six countries in Asia that belong to a historical geographical region dubbed as the Mediterranean Levant. Vaughn? Um, Turkey? 
Cyprus and Lebanon. Balik. Sayang ulit bon. <laughs> Tama ang dalawang sagot mo. Pero hindi kasama ang Cyprus. Okay. Kasi yung Cyprus ay isang hiwalay na isla. Okay. So kasama sila yung Levant. It's a French term for east. So uh, eastern portion of the Mediterranean. Okay. So ang mga posibleng tamang sagot ay yung sumusunod. Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Israel, Palestine, and Turkey. Thank you. Prof. Les. <laughs> Who is the daughter of Cabezang Tales in the novel El Filibusterismo? First help. Huli. Juli. Tama. Si Huli. Kay check. Thank you. Prof. Ricky. What is the largest group of biological classification? First help. Kingdom. Mali. Pwede rin sa tawag na Dominion, Super Kingdom, Priam Empire, at ang well-known na bacteria, archaea, at eukarya ay tinatawag na domains. Wow. So the correct answer is domains. Domains. Prof. Neil. So ito na yung tanong. In World Alliances, what does NATO or NATO stand for? Von. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So, this time, Von, tamang sagot, KJ. Thank you, Prof. Neil, Prof. Lessie. This musical instrument is composed of gongs in graduated sizes arranged in a row. It may be played by a single performer as a solo instrument or as part of an ensemble. What is the name of this musical instrument from the South? The answer is Kulintang. Kulintang. Thank you. Prof. Ricky. What do you call an instrument that responds to ground noises and shaking such as caused by earthquakes, Versa. volcanic eruptions, and explosions. Yes, it's for detection and recording of earthquakes at k -Chan. Thank you. Last set of questions. Yeah, huling tanong mula sa akin. So, world history ito. What event led to a U.S.-led boycott of the Moscow Summer Olympic Games in 1980? hindi pa kayo kasi pinapanganak noong 1979. Ang tamang sagot ay Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979. Maraming salamat, Prof. Blessy. Next question. What is the name of the fictitious bayan in Francisco Balagtas' Florante at Laura? Bon. Albania. KJ. Maraming salam, Prof. Lessie. Final question from Prof. Rick. Chemistry tayo. What acid-based definition describes a compound that accepts an electron pair? Named after American physical chemist Gilbert Lewis, it's called Lewis Acid. Okay. And that's it for the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Versil, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 155 points. He will receive a power bank from TVUP. We'll see Versil again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Thanks to Rob, Gwyn, and Vaughn for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Iglesi, and Professor Ricky. This is Julian Baldo Cubello. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!